In today's video, I will teach you how to resize a selection in GIMP. Let's get started. In GIMP, there are two ways to go about resizing a selection, and they are pretty simple and easy to learn. The first one is built into the Select tool. You can either use the Rectangle Select tool or the Ellipse Select tool or any of the selection tools to do this method. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to use the Rectangle Select tool. Now, make your selection. And after making the selection, there will be handles as you hover over the selection. The corner handles are going to be used for the scaling of the selection from this corner. And when you hover over the middle corners, this handle will appear which you can use to scale the selection horizontally or vertically. And when you hover over the side corners, you can use this to widen or narrow down your selection. But if you want to scale the image within the selection, you can resize it by using the scale tool. After using the selection tool of your choice, go to the toolbox and select the scale tool. Now. Click on the selected area to activate the Scale dialog box. Alternatively, you can go to the Layers, Transform, then Scale. In the Scale dialog box, you'll see handles around the selection. Click and drag on any handles to resize the selection. Then hold down the Shift key while dragging to maintain the aspect ratio. And once you're satisfied with the new size, press the Scale button in the Scale dialog box. And after scaling, you may want to deselect the area. So simply press shift Control a or go to Select, then None. And now you can save your image to preserve the changes. Keep in mind that resizing a selection doesn't resize the entire image, but only the selected portion. If you want to resize the entire image, simply use the Image, then Scale Image option. Remember that when working with selections, it's essential to be on the correct layer. If you're working on a specific layer, make sure it's selected in the Layers panel before applying any transformations. And now you can experiment with the Scale tool to find the size that suits your needs. And feel free to adjust as necessary. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, Turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.